Dispatch, we're tracking a silver Porsche. Speeds in excess of 150 miles an hour. This guy's not slowing down. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is uh, the newest Need for Speed, the new, the new title of the, of the whole franchise. Uh, it's a big, big title for, for EA. It's a reboot of the franchise, even starting by the name. I mean, Hot Pursuit is, is from uh, a game already out like 10 years, like almost 10 years ago. Um, we, we took the best part, the part that our fans love, like Cop, Chase, Open World, put it in a game, made by Criterion. Uh, like specialists of arcade racing and we build up a new Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. First, the franchise is not only arcade racing, not only Hot Pursuit, we have uh, like kind of simulation game as well. Uh, but uh, all fan, core fan are waiting, love, chairs and cups. And that was the reason to, uh, to, to make the cups back in the middle of the game. And more, even more than before and bigger than, than ever, uh, the cups are in the center of the game because now in our pursuit, you're able to have a full career being a cop. And that's totally, totally new. So this world has been built by DICE, by DICE Studio, uh, the creators of, uh, of Battlefield series. So very, very specialists into um, in building like world like that, open world. Uh, I mean, it's a huge world, bigger than the one you could find in uh, in Burnout Paradise, for for instance. Uh, you'll find everything like. You could drive on the coast, on the mountain, like on highway. Uh, you have a lot of different area, areas. And because it's a need for speed, you always can find little short track passages on the side of the road. And that, uh, you know, uh, adds a lot in the gameplay. I mean, because winning is not only racing well and uh, fighting well on the road, it's as well knowing the map and uh, take little uh, side roads. Actually, you're gonna drive only big cars. So in the game, you have more or less seven, seven cars. And uh, I think the cheapest, the smallest car you're gonna drive is a Porsche Cayman. So the, the idea is just, we, we don't want to put hundreds of cars because most of the time, like players, they don't drive them. Or when they start to drive them, it's just, they fight during 10 hours to access to the car they really want. So the idea is just put in, in the game the best car in the world. And you know, to you put the game in the console, you enjoy right away having a nice car. So you start with the Cayman. The cars are classified like an infra speed by category. So you have exotic car, uh, Japanese car, muscle car. And uh, start by the Cayman and I mean, the, the rank grow, grows up until like, Pagani Koenigsegg, Lamborghini Reventon, uh, um, Pagani C9, enfin, tons of really, really super cars. That's actually the biggest innovation in the game. So I was talking about rebirth of Need for Speed, but it's not only that. The real innovation is the autolog. Autolog is the center of the game. It's the thing that manages all the multiplayer uh, for Need for Speed. And basically, it's a social network inside Need for Speed. Uh, so in terms of multiplayer, you can play until eight people. And I mean, different kind of, uh, of races, like four, four versus four, one versus seven, you know, playing with your friends. And Autolog manage for you, uh, I mean, is the link between you and your friend. All the time uh, in the Need for Speed interface, online, on your Facebook, or in the game, you can see what your, the press of your friend, everything we are doing. For example, you just finish a race, I can see on my, uh, on my wall, in my Need for Speed wall, that you just finish a race with, uh, I don't know, one minute, 45 seconds. 
autologue is asking me, asking me if I want to beat you or beat one of my friends who did just this kind of event. And I say yes or no, and I, I, can, I can challenge you. So, and if I do something and I'm really proud of it, I can challenge one of my, my friends. And that's the basic point to uh, give deepness to the multiplayer. On top of that, you have a lot of functionality like, you know, upload pic uh, screenshots, pictures, videos from, uh, from the game. And that entertains really time playing with your friend. And on top, on top of that, you can do that not only on PS3, on, for example, you're playing on, on PS3, not only with your PS3 friend gamers, uh, but also with uh, all your friends, whatever the, the console they, they're playing with. For example, I'm playing on PS3, you're playing on X360, we can challenge each other and we are playing together. That's the big innovation in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. For sure, we can, you can race, race with your friend on the same console, but you cannot race real, real time at the same time uh, on PS3 versus X360, for example. But you're still linked with your friend. And for example, you're playing the morning, uh, I say, on Thursday at night, and your friend are not connected. You still can challenge them and follow what they're doing and it's kind of playing with them, even if you're not in the game at the same time. So that's, that's uh, like a strong anecdote. Keep, you keep in touch with your Need for Speed friend. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of more modes. First, you can play, you know, you're talking one versus one, and after you, in the game you can play one versus seven if you want, two versus six, four versus four. For example, you can be like, um, you can track, well, like, I mean, you can, yeah, chase one of your friends, like, you, you have only one uh, racer, you have seven cops behind, also the racer has to be really good, but you can do that. And after in the modes, you have a ton of modes to play it. Uh, you have the interceptor. Sometimes it can be just a race, classic race. You have the, the cops trying to to uh, chase you down, and everybody is pilot. Um, you have the best time to uh, to um, intercept uh, pilot. You have tons of modes. And it's really deep. Yeah. I, I think after we had the third day of the show here at the Paris Game Week, and. We have really, really a lot of great comments on the game, from even from journalists or consumers. And I think this Need for Speed is going to be a great one. Requesting aerial support.